In terms of music that I listen to, I can no longer listen to any mainstream radio station unless it's an oldies station. I've got to the stage where the only radio uh, stations I can stand to listen to are ones that play 70s or 80s music. So anything more recent than that, uh, I just can't stand to listen to it. It just grates at me and uh, makes me feel bad. It makes me want to reach for the off button because I actually have a physical reaction to it. It starts to panic me and I just want to either turn the music off or just get out of that environment so I don't have to hear it. And I'm the same way with ads. Whenever an ad comes on the radio, it just makes me feel physically repelled and uh, I have to get rid of it. So I think that's... Is that the the music as opposed to the lyrics? So even without the lyrics, would that be just the musical concept, the the vibrations that are created? Yeah, exactly. Uh, That's before I even get to the lyrics. I don't really pay a lot of attention to lyrics. It's the way the sound frequencies make me feel the physical components of of the song or the uh the the um sonic components i should say just the way it resonates with me and the way it vibrates with me it just doesn't feel good and that goes for all mainstream pop music now i was having a discussion with a guy the other day for one of my good vibrations podcasts and we were talking about classic albums from back in the day from pretty much the 60s and the 70s these evergreen uh, acts that are still being celebrated 40 or 50 years on. And we were saying, honestly, who is there from today's music scene that's going to be celebrated with any great enthusiastic nostalgia in even 10 years, never mind 40 or 50? In 10 years, are people going to be saying, oh, Justin Bieber, he was great. I love Justin Bieber. His his lyrics were just so incisive and his music just really spoke to me in a really deep and spiritual way. It's not going to happen. I've just picked on Justin Bieber, but you could apply that to anyone. I mean, I'd even say that about Ed Sheeran. I know I'm going to get hate for that. <laughs> There's going to be people saying, uh, Ed Sheeran's great. How can you say that? But Ed Sheeran doesn't move me. Come on now. He's not exactly in the same category as David Bowie or the Rolling Stones or the Doors or the Beatles, is he? Come on now. Or Prince or any other act you might care to mention. So uh, none of today's music does it for me. A lot of people say to me, you shouldn't really be listening to the classic stuff. You know, how can you still enjoy stuff from the Beatles or how can you listen to Led Zeppelin or Pink Floyd or you know, one of these bands, when you understand the connections that these musicians had and and what these groups were most likely used for. And people try and make the case that there could be all sorts of stuff loaded into those audio recordings. And I always say that as long as you're consciously aware of what a band probably was all about, and as long as you're consciously aware of what may well have gone into the makeup of their music you can still enjoy that music on the face of it for the sake, you know for the music's sake you've broken the spell by that point the mind control is no longer working on you in a way that it works on someone who doesn't have these understandings who's being taken completely off their guard you know you can you can still enjoy these songs because many of these songs are great you know all these manipulated bands and artists that I've exposed their music was fantastic That's why they were so popular. If the music was crap, they wouldn't have got to where they were. And people may disagree with me on that, and certainly many people do. They say, you know, on the one hand, you point out who all these musicians really were, and then on the other hand, you say, go right ahead and listen to their music. Well, that's what I do. If you choose not to listen to these bands, and if you choose to throw out all your old albums and never associate with these acts again, that's your choice, you know? Free will. (laughs) Yeah, if if you feel compelled to do that, go ahead. That's your choice. And this yeah. is mine. 